This new feature solves the problem of UTM traffic inspection on asymmetric traffic in FGSP protocol. Before this feature, traffic would go out through 40 gate A and come back through 40 gate B. So we could not check the packets in both directions on the same session owner, which is 40 gate A. Because of that, performing UTM inspection was a challenge. The solution for this problem is to return traffic back to the original 40 gate for the UTM inspection. This solution works when peer 40 gates are in the same subnet, as well as when they are in different subnets. Let's look at two examples here. In the first example, both 40 gates are in the same subnet and have layer 2 access to each other. Traffic from the internal network first hits 40 gate A, but the return traffic is routed to 40 gate B. At this point, traffic bounces from 40 gate B port 1 to 40 gate A port 1 using 40 gate A's MAC address. Then traffic is inspected by the 40 gate A. But what if 40 gate peers are on different subnets and layer 2 connectivity is not available? For example, in cloud environments. In this case, traffic bound for the session owner 40 gate A is forwarded through the peer to peer link from 40 gate B. Then traffic is inspected by the 40 gate A. Now let's look at the configuration. The functionality is currently available only in the command line interface. You will start with the FGSP peer setup for each 40 gate. For more details, please refer to the online documentation here. Next, you will enable UTM in the firewall policy on each 40 gate. We will demonstrate it shortly. And finally is the new CLI command. The standalone group ID will be the same for both 40 gates. The member ID marks the session and must be unique for each 40 gate member. The default member ID is zero. If two 40 gates accidentally have the same member ID, the feature will not work. Right now, we support up to 16 member IDs. The last parameter here indicates if we are using the layer 2 or not. If 40 gates have layer 2 access to each other, the traffic will bounce back from 40 gate B to the session owner 40 gate A. Otherwise, the traffic will pass through a peer to peer link. Let's look at how it all works. Here we are connected to the CLI. Here is the 40 gate A. The firewall policy is already configured. The UTM status is enabled, and so is the antivirus profile. The standalone cluster has been configured too. As you can see, the layer 2 connection is available, so we will bounce traffic to the 40 gate A. Now let's look at 40 gate B. The firewall policy has also been configured. The UTM and the antivirus are enabled too. And here is the standalone cluster configuration. The group ID is the same as the one for the 40 gate A. The member ID does not show here because it has the default value of 0. The layer 2 connection is available. And this is our PC that we will use to access the outside server. The outgoing traffic will go to the 40 gate A and the incoming traffic will go through the 40 gate B. Looking at the server, we can see that the traffic coming from the 40 gate A will be returned to the 40 gate B. Now that all the configurations are in place, let's run a quick test. From the PC1, we are trying to get the iCAR file on the server. As you can see, this request is stopped. But if we use a ping command, it will go through. There is no UTM inspection for the ICMP traffic, so it passes asymmetrically through 40 gate B to 40 gate A and back to the PC. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching and for more videos please visit video.fortinet.com.